Welcome back guys to my Manchester United career here on FIFA 13. Now as soon as the Celtic game was over I received an email and I have been offered the position to manage Bolivia for the international career. I decide to reject it as I want to carry on with Manchester United. I haven't even finished the season yet. So we move on to our next fixture and my my it's a big one. It's Manchester United versus Arsenal at Old Trafford in the Barclays Premier League. This was a game I definitely needed to win. Arsenal are in third place at the moment with 22 points. We've got 17. We are just five points behind them. And we can shorten that gap with a nice win here today at Old Trafford. Against Arsenal. Now two teams featuring in the classier section of the table, Martin, high up. And uh, no surprise that they're there. For and here is the league table, as you can see. Arsenal there in third position. And Man City are atop as well, with just six points behind them. Again, we can shorten the gap. Here's the team as well. I decided to bring in Giggs on the left there. Rooney and Van Persie up front with their partnership. I'm hoping to take off soon. Nani is also on the right. We've got Carrick and Eriksen in the central mid. And the same defence again with De Gea in goal. The game started off, Nani got into the box and he scored a nice finesse shot, making it 1-0 to Manchester United in the 20th minute. And so 11 minutes later, Eriksen passes up to Van Persie and Van Persie against his old team. He passes it to Rooney and Rooney with his first touch hammers it home and makes it 2-0 and finishes it off with a nice celebration. And that was pretty much all the action from the first half. Wayne Rooney getting on the score sheet as well as Nani making it 2-0 to Manchester United. Shane Van Persie hasn't been able to make much of an impact just yet against his old team. So come the second half I look to widen the margin as Rooney gets into the box, has a shot goal and they knock it out of play. 20 or so minutes later Carrick of all people breaks through the Arsenal defence, Rooney balls down on goal and really that should have been a penalty. And just look at this for some amazing football, the Manchester United way of football. Raphael given so much space and unfortunately doesn't get anything of it. We get a corner and Jermaine Lenz with a difficult angle has a shot at goal on the volley and the goalkeeper knocks it over. And that is full time, Manchester United beat Arsenal 2-0 and that gives us three points. And we've just made the gap of five points to two. Did have to do some Don't stop us now. Here is the league table as it stands. Manchester United in fifth. Again, just two points behind both Chelsea and Arsenal. And five points behind Everton. Our season has just begun. So moving on to our next fixture. And it's in the Barclays Premier League once again. And this time we're playing away against Aston Villa. As always, because we are Manchester United, it's a game we need to win. So after our last fixture against Arsenal where we beat them 2-0, our confidence is sky high. Aston Villa are known to be Manchester United's bogey team in the Premier League. They always, always put up a challenge. Versus Manchester United. How will Manchester United be today? We'll be watching them. Well, they haven't been uh, quite at it so far. They're in mid -table and, uh... So here is my starting 11. Notice I've changed to the 4 2 3 1. Van Persie starting instead of Rooney, who is on the bench. Nick Powell starts as well, who is in central midfield with Anderson. Eriksen and Nani on the left and right. Kagawa just in behind Van Persie. And the same defence as well as De Gea. So after his shoddy performance against Arsenal, Van Persie wanted to put that straight and unfortunately hits the post with a header. And that's half time, ends nil nil. Absolutely nothing happened throughout the whole of that half of the game. Come the second half, Anderson wins us a free kick in which Valencia takes. He steps up to take it, to cross it in, see if he could get ahead. Ferdinand comes in. Should that have been a penalty? Was he pushed? And so the game ends, Aston Villa nil, Manchester United nil. At least we walk away with the point instead of losing three points, but I'm sure the hair dry treatment will be out in that dressing room. There was just so many chances I failed to make pay. So we move on to our third game in this video, and it's against Chelsea, and it's at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League. Another tough game, three tough games in a row. 
and we can't slip up with this one. If we slip up with this one, we might as well say goodbye to the Premier League trophy. Unless all the top teams started losing all of a sudden. As I always am for these occasions. And it's Chelsea today versus Manchester United. Well, two teams high up in the table, a chance for one of them, if they can get a win today, to push on and maybe challenge the, the really top teams in this division. Ramsey Dool is the referee today. So here is my starting 11. I decide to go back to the traditional 4 4 2 with Rooney and Hernandez up front, Giggs and Nani on the left and right, Skulls and Carrick central mid, and the same defence again with De Gea in goal. Really early into the game, Giggs gets on the ball with his amazing dribbling skills, gets it into the box, passes it to Hernandez, and it just goes wide, hitting the side netting. 20 minutes later, we get a free kick against Chelsea just outside their box, and I decide to have Nani take it, and because I'm not the best at taking free kicks, Nani puts it over. That didn't stop us from piling the pressure though, Hernandez takes it into the box, chip cross to Rooney on the volley, and Petr Cech saves. And that brings us to half time. Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. It's all to play for. Feeling refreshed after half time, Hernandez takes it into the box. Open goal, Rooney takes it with the volley. Hernandez just offside there. And I decide to bring on Van Persie and Valencia for Giggs and Hernandez. And Van Persie's first touch of the game with a half volley is saved by Petr Cech. After Van Persie's recently poor performances, he wanted to put that right, so he takes it there just outside the box, has a shot goal, shoots it low and scores, making it 1-0 to Manchester United in the 71st minute. I was very surprised that Petr Cech didn't get a hand to that. What do you think? Do you think Petr Cech should have saved that? Come the stroke of full time, Skulls looks to make it 2-0, but it goes right over. So Manchester United win. 1-0 against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and we walk home with those all-important three points. And aren't we glad they did? Yeah, the weather was poor but the pitch was good and the play was even better. Because I'm nice guys, I decided to squeeze in one more game and it's against PSG in the Champions Cup or the Champions League, whatever you want to call it, in the group stage and it's the last time we'll play these as well in the group stage. Alan Smith, I'm very pleased to say we're getting ready for Champions Cup action. Hi there Martin, I really am looking forward to this one, two good teams down there. Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match versus Manchester United. This should be a proper match. Two Here teams. is my starting 11. As you'll notice, I'm mixing things up with the formation side of things at the moment. I've got the 4 5 1 going, and I'm, bringing, I'm mixing things up with the midfield. I'm bringing in Fletcher, Nick Powell, Jet Main, Lenz, Ashley Young. They all start. Hernandez and Van Persie up front. I'm bringing in Butner as well. So we're going to skip the first half. Absolutely nothing happened. And come the 64th minute, Hernandez scores a nice little tap in with the head, making it 1 0 to Manchester United against PSG. It is, he's been quite brilliant today, but uh, I just think the pressure in the end was too much. Our top marks. And this Nick Powell is one to watch for the future. Look how he breaks from the PSG defence and he curls it round the goalkeeper, making it 2 0 on the 88th minute against PSG. If he hadn't have scored that, I think it would have been a penalty. And that is full time. Manchester United walk away beating PSG 2-0. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. See you soon.